He came in with intention to hurt me or hurt a kid. A Poway school teacher and mother of four describing a terrifying encounter when a man broke into her house and claimed to have just murdered two people. New at 5, ABC 10 News anchor Vanessa Van Hefty shows us how this woman managed to fight off the intruder single-handedly. Actually, my daughter was having a slumber party, so there were six kids here total. Alexis uh, Peck is still shaken. Girl. One of the girls looked up and saw a man crawling on the patio. The Poway Elementary School teacher and mother of four couldn't believe what she was seeing. And I peeked around and at this point he was crawling inside my house. What he said put chills down her spine. I need your help. I just killed two men who were trying to kidnap a little girl and the cops are after me. The man identified here on Peck's ring camera named Michael Boone was covered in scratches. She kept her cool and got him to leave. And then I went to go check on the girls and told them to call 911 right away. While I was talking to them, I started hearing banging. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I assumed he was banging on uh, my slider. He wasn't. He came around this way and then all the way to this door. He opened this so the police were able to get fingerprints off this doorknob. She came face to face with him again, and this time he was angry. Like he was ready to attack me. Peck got him to leave after three intense minutes captured here on her ring cam. I thought he was going to kill me or kidnap one of my girls. Video from neighbors show Boone banging on their doors moments earlier. Police arrived within three minutes identifying him from the video by his name tattooed on his arm. He was released on a $50,000 bond the next day. He's just out there hanging out. Peck is frustrated he's out living blocks away and is now filing a restraining order. In Poway, Vanessa Van Hefty, ABC 10 News. Boone will appear before a judge tomorrow on charges of felony vandalism and first degree burglary with intent. Sheriff's deputies say it appears he was under the influence of something, but that hasn't been verified yet by testing.